Alright, uh, today I'm going to do some ballistic testing. Um, I got my FX crown with the new FX superior liner in it and some of the new 25 grain hybrids. Um, I'm going to test uh, for expansion on uh, some um, ballistic uh, brand gel blocks. And But first I want to show my initial groups I did the other day I had um, <clears throat> cleaned my barrel and used a little bit of JB Bors paste which I always do to smooth things out some but here's the groups I fired this is the first group and these are all at 50 yards and you can see the five shots there um, I had to change elevation. Actually, I was aiming at this target and hitting down here, so I raised it up. There's three, actually four, um, touching, and there's the fifth one. And this was a couple reside ends. Fired this group. There's one, two there, three, four, five. Fired that group, <clears throat> another five. And these are all pretty darn good groups. And my last group here two in the same hole, two connecting one there. So uh, the barrel seems to be shooting better and better with the hybrids. <clears throat> so I think the Superior Barrel is a step up in uh, quality. <clears throat> but back to the ballistic gel testing. Back to the ballistic gel testing, what I have is my five gallon bucket with rags in it. I have, <clears throat> when I initially bought my uh, ballistics gel, I mistakenly bought the 20%. And, um, and that's for shooting NATO rounds, wherever specs they use. But I got these two blocks here that are going to represent a groundhog, the best that I can represent it. So these weigh five pounds which is less than a typical groundhog which is going to be eight to ten pounds or so but being it's twenty percent it's going to be like a tough groundhog and this other block is the later ballistic gels i bought uh... the ten percent and this weighs twelve ounces the same as the pigeon so i'm going to shoot them both see the results and see the expansion uh... because um, the idea of the hybrids are for expansion and um, so I want to see how much they expand on these various targets. So I'm going to go down range 50 yards away and fire the first shot and recover the slugs. Okay, um, forgot to mention that the crown is shooting the 26 grain hybrids at 902 feet per second before I was shooting the 26.8 grain Nielsen's and they were going at 935 uh, so this uh, superior liner shoots a little bit lower velocity for whatever reason but good center mass hit and it went through and usually you can sort of tell by the entrance how much expansion um, but if it expanded a lot normally when I open up or pull out the bucket uh, it's sitting right on top if it penetrates a lot then I gotta go digging so let me uh, pause and uh, fish this out alright here's the result and very very disappointing um, looks like hardly any expansion compared to what you get with the 22 hybrids um, I mean it's it's not even worth I, I'd measure it but it's not even worth measuring well just to make sure no expansion at the nose that I can see and the bases less than 0.250 which is uh, 
you know, these are listed as 0 .250 diameter, and you can see any very minimal uh, expansion on the tip that I can see. So, very disappointing. Um, if you're looking for expansion, um, I don't know. I mean, the uh, Griffin LDCs in 22 expand quite a bit, and 25 also, I believe I shot them, so might have to try them. But the hybrid is a 25 hybrid so far, it seems to be a good accurate um, slug with the new superior liner, so let's try the pigeon size block and see what happens. Okay, just shot the pigeon size block. A lot of times you can tell if the slug is expanding quite a bit because the block will react because it's expanding out and exerting um, more energy into the block. But it was a good hit center wise. There's the hole. So let's fish it out. Okay, here's the last slug shot at the pigeon size weight block of 12 ounces. Here's the first one. Whoop. The first slug that I shot at the 20% gel that weighed about five pounds. And here's an unfired um, FX Hybrid 25. Yes, you can see the tip is a smaller hole. So these did expand a little bit. Um, but I wouldn't say you got mushrooming going on. So, looking at these two, which is just observation, very shiny. And I don't know if that's indicative of, um, more tin in the lead. Um, I noticed on the, um, non-lead, um, pellets that they're very shiny too, so... I don't know what the percentage of lead and stuff is in these, but they're not expanding like the 22s. In fact, I'm going to get my FX 22 caliber and get the hybrids and redo the test with this and just compare. Okay, I'm about to shoot the FX 22 hybrids at the 12 ounce 10% gel block. You see the expansion compared with the 25 hybrids. I will take a cider shot up top um, and then take a shot at the block. One thing I want you to notice is if the block has a lot of movement to it or knocks it over, then we're getting the expansion and energy transfer. So uh, that would be a, a, a big difference in comparing the two slugs. Okay, I wish I had um, had the camera going when I was shooting the 25 because uh, the block just before just stood there, didn't move, and the noise was, you know, it was not as loud as this 22 just was, which is a real loud pop. Quick look. I don't know which hole is what. I think that's the 22 hybrid, but let's fish it out and see what we got well look at that boys and girls I don't have a, a 22 uh, hybrid to compare it to but massive expansion point three eight nine and the 25s basically stayed at the same size but Look at that expansion, and that's on a 12 ounce, 10% gel block. So we're gonna switch to the uh, two heavier blocks, 20% gel, weighing five pounds, and see what the 22 does. Okay, I just fired the 
way too hybrid into the block and uh, forgot to press record so I'm gonna fire another one through just to let you hear and see the impact and fish it out okay I'll let you know that the first one I shot and then get on camera and probably this one too they didn't pass through the block and I saw excellent expansion see if we can see them through the block itself okay there's one there's two so you can see it expansion and they went it's hard for me to see looking through the camera but uh, it looks like they went about two and a half inches in so I will dig them out measure them and I'm gonna see if I have any of the Griffin LDC slugs in 25 caliper I'm not sure if I bought any of those or just the uh, 22 okay there's the results with the FX 22 hybrids in the five pound block of gel 20 percent uh, expansion to 0 0.382 approximately for both of the ones I fired there's the uh, unfired 22 hybrid uh, so my conclusion is depending on the distance and whether or not you need expansion because the 22 is not going to have as high a ballistic coefficient as the heavier 25s but if you want expansion get the 22 hybrids and um, not the 25s because you can see right here the, the 25 hybrids did not expand at all just a little bit at the nose these actually expanded so uh, so I'm gonna see if I got any Griffin LDC's which is a light density core which is made for expansion in 25 if not this is where my test concludes I don't know what FX did with the, the lead in these uh, 25 calibers but they did not expand in fact I'm gonna fish out of my pocket the uh, ones that I shot there's one there's the other and here's an unfired one and compare uh, the expansion between the 22s and 25s so there you go okay I went into my ammo stash and found that I do have some Griffin 29 grain LDC I forget the style base I'm not sure if this is the one that I shot two different style bases and one was accurate and one was not. I could only find the one uh, type of Griffin LDC, but I'm going to shoot it here. Um, take an accuracy shot first and see what we got. Okay, go up here and take a quick look. Yep, the Griffin stopped within the gel. Uh, the uh, point of aim difference was quite a bit. I'm trying to find my. This is where I was shooting on before. That's where the Griffin hit, but that's just a matter of alignment let's see if we can see this on the camera Griffin went in from here stopped about there I can see the expansion I will fish that out but first I'm gonna shoot the uh, pigeon weight block and see what it does all right let's hope I can hit this with the difference in Side in.
Well, that was quite a violent hit. I think I hit it low and left. You can see the large hole that it punched. I think I hit it there. We'll fish it out. Okay, here's the results of the Griffin 25 caliber. It's uh, LDC, uh, cup base at 50 yards. Um, this first one here you see was fired through the 12 ounce size of 10% uh, gel. This next one was fired at 5 pounds of 20% gel. If you can see here, uh, I recovered the uh, poly ball that goes into the tip. And if you can see this, I hope you can. Let me zoom in. Superior expansion 440, 0 .440. And the overall penetration in the five pound block was two and a quarter. So, once again, what I was interested in when I first started this with the new 25 hybrids is would they expand the same as the 22 hybrids and they do not um, with small pests a lot of times you don't need the expansion and, you know accuracy is king but the more energy you can dump into any target small or large the better you are so uh, you have to weigh those factors um, and choose the slug that fits your needs the best. I was sort of gearing myself towards shooting groundhogs and looking for a slug that would expand and allow me to take chest shots. Um, more expansion, the more transfer energy, the bigger wound channel. So that's what I was looking for. So the FX hybrids in 25 caliber might not be the best. Uh, uh, slug for that. In fact, uh, the 22 hybrids might be a much better selection, though you'll be limited in distance because it's a lighter slug, but uh, you might have a better effect on uh, groundhog size critters. So, hopefully, this is going to help you all make some decisions. These are real world testing into, uh, of course, it's not 100%. Uh, judging the uh, effect on uh, critters but it's better than a lot of tests that I see on YouTube so there you go